Hello, I'm Jill Wellington, and I'm going to show you how to make one of your pictures look like a painting using the filters that come right with Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS6. Now, this is a picture of some beautiful roses that I got for my birthday. I thought they were so pretty that I took a picture, but I want them to look even prettier. I want them to look like they're in a painting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to this background layer and we're going to duplicate it. And we do that by clicking Control J or Command J on a Mac. What you're, what you're actually doing is it's exact same copy of what the background is. You can see that right above it in your layer palette. Now we're going to go up and click on Filter and then click on Filter Gallery. And this comes up. And first of all, we're going to resize this picture so we can really see what we're doing. I'm just going to push this minus button here, and there I can see my whole picture now. Now the fun part begins because there's all kinds of different things that you can do. You want to click on these different options like here's dry brush or film grain and see the different things that you can play with. And this is really just your own taste. What, what do you like? Here's sponge, here's smudge stick. But I'm gonna tell you that my favorite is paint dobs. I already think that looks so pretty that in my eye, that's pretty. And you can play around with these sliders over here to change it, to fine tune it. I actually liked it the way it was. We, we can make it a little sharper here. You can go down on your sharpness. You play with it till you get what you like. And you can also play with the brush type. I always use simple for this paint dobs. That's what I like. I've used this many times, but you can change it. Here's one called sparkle. Look what that did. Go over here, light rough. Just play around with this. What do you like? That is what I like. But there's all kinds of options in here. There are, click on these. There's brush strokes. There's angled strokes crosshatch, spatter strokes. Just click on these little arrows. Here's a sketch. You can make it look like water paint, watercolors. Go click out of that. Different textures, different grains. I just want you to play with this and find something that pleases you. But this pleases me. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now because I'm on a different layer, if I now think, you know, that's a little too strong, I can just go up to this opacity button, click on this, and use the slider, and I can go down a little bit. This is how it looked originally. And now I can just go up as far as I want it to go with this new paint look. I actually like it at 100%, so I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to now flatten it. Just right click on background and click on flatten image. Doesn't that look like a painting? That looks so pretty. I'm going to show you something else that you can also do. Here's another still life I did that same day with the roses. But I want my camera to be in focus here. So we're going to go back up. First of all, we're going to duplicate the layer, Control J or Command J on a Mac. Go up to Filter, Filter Gallery, and I'm going to make this fit the size so I can see it. And, well, remember, I like paint tops, so I'm going to do that again. And I'm just going to leave it at that because I like it like that. I've already used this so many times that it's it set really the way I want it. Oh, there, that looks even prettier. Click OK. And now, as I said, I want my camera to not be so distorted there. Oops, clicked on that. So what we can do because we created this other layer, now we can create a layer mask. So go down at the bottom of your palette and click on this. It's a little square with a dot in it and you want to add a layer mask. Click on that. And now you can see this white square in this layer and that's your layer mask. So because this is white, we're going to want to paint with black. So we go down here and we can toggle between black and white by using these arrows. And we want the black in front. Now go up and click on your brush and click to make sure that it is a soft edge brush. And I'm going to have the opacity. I don't want it 
totally stark. I'm going to go down to about 90% opacity. And now I'm going to enlarge my, my brush using my right bracket key. Right bracket key to make it larger and left bracket key to make it smaller. And now I'm going to just go in here and paint right over my camera. And you can see it's bringing back that clear image of the camera. I didn't want it totally clear. That's why I had this on 91% rather than 100%. But that gives a little more definition to the camera. I, I also kind of want that on these cherries here because they're on the same plane. So I'm going to go in and paint over that. Maybe this the spoon too. But I really love the flowers to look painterly. So if you can also adjust that by going up to this opacity slider going down and just adjust it till it looks right to you. But doesn't that give it a nice beautiful painting quality? Play around with this and come up with your own different artistic addition. Have fun!